you will learn the 5 steps needed to do a good planetary imaging. And at the end of this video you should be able to get a nice Saturn image. You can use any telescope although we will be using a 12 inch Dobson telescope over an equatorial platform with a 2x Barlow and an inexpensive camera. And first let's use SharpCap software to capture the object. Of course it's much easier if you have tracking like an equatorial platform that I'm using or a go-to telescope. Either ways you can do it. With a small camera like mine you might struggle to center the object in a field of view. And if it's windy even worse. Select the area to capture, which is the size of the field of view of your camera. You can lower the area, so that the camera can work faster and capture more frames in the same time. Start the capture, set unlimited and BAM, there we go! I'm capturing AV file, so that means that is recording a video. Notice that the exposure time is very very low. You should adjust it before the record using values as low as 18 milliseconds that I'm using. If you see the planet running away from the field of view or if you don't have tracking you just use at the right a region of interest. You can move that square, the dark grey one, within the big white square. I'm adjusting it in order to keep the planet in the center of the field of view. And if you're enjoying this content, subscribe for more. And now let's move on stopping the capture with already more than 40,000 frames and BAM we already have a file to have fun with. And now let's pull that file to the PIP software. As it is a planet you check the box on planetary down right here. Then you pull the file. Now go to the quality tab, enable quality estimation and choose the number of frames you want to keep. As I have 41,000 I will choose 40,000 just to discard the worst frames. Now the software will work with those 40,000 files. Then enable quality weighting. All of these will take longer to stack but also will improve your stacking quality. Then choose AV file in the output options tab. Then go to do processing and start the process. The time that takes will depend on the power of your computer. These are free softwares and you can download from my page dobsonianpower.com. And now that we have the file already processed, let's open the folder. Bam, there we go. The difference now is that the planet is completely centered in the video. This will help the next step, which is stacking with AutoStacker, another software. Now you will open that second file, the one that resulted from PIP software. And at the right, click on AP Grid. After, you check 24. This will place the alignment points into the planet. You can place some more manually if you want. To fill the gaps if you know what I mean. Now at the left click on analyze and the software will of course analyze it. Bam done. Here in the video in reality it will take a bit more. <laughs> be patient. Now choose a percentage of frames to be stacked. As a reference you have the quality graph at the middle. The frames above 50% are the best frames. The green line will help you to define. Then drizzle if you want one and a half. I suggest you to trial and error. You can record with and without. And choose the result you like the most. Now click on stack and that's it. Just wait. Go for a walk meanwhile. At the end you will get a PNG picture which will go to another software Registax to post process. Here after pulling that picture you will process it as you like. I usually do the RGB balance, just open it and click on auto balance. Then you can continue here or you can go to the left to the wavelets which seem complicated but they are not. Besides you can save the configuration after processing the first time so you just have to do it once. I usually uncheck the box number one because this will be useful if you need to blur a bit if the sharpness is too much. Then go to the number six at the bottom and move the sliders.
10 do the same at number 5 move the slider to the right but don't push it too much otherwise it will be an artificial result you want it to be natural keep doing in the number 4 and also in the others you can stop here if you want and come back to the menu at the right there's no specific order so you are free to use it according to your taste and of course what you are seeing on the screen histogram you can clip a bit to the left and see how it looks you can also move the left slider to the right if you want and click on stretch if you don't like the result you just have to reset if you like it let's move on now let's move again the wavelets number three and the number two those i adjust less than the previous ones because the ones at the top are more aggressive let's come back to the six and adjust a bit more now the four you can play with them until you get the results that you like the most you'll get used to it now what i do after moving the sliders without messing the image is to increase a bit these numbers here do it slowly nice and steady to keep a good image again as with the sliders you will play with the numbers of each wavelet enhancing and sharpening the image without blowing it turning it artificial remember that now the number four you still can play also with the sliders and remember that at the end you can save the skin back and forth playing with it while you're doing it keep paying attention to details like the poles of saturn planet also the rings and the clouds sometimes the previous steps that we did add aberrations or defects to the image that when you enhance they will pop up right now there's an aberration in the image i wonder if you can find it but first let's go to color mixing and see how it works after click on it check create luminance from rgb watch the results in my case i like it so i will keep them it gave a more natural color another setting that i like to play with it's the gamma let's check it out click on it and play with the mouse moving the bands up and down and watching the picture to see what you like the most now it's when you come back to the wavelets and you can play with the number one which is unchecked on purpose to clean a bit the grainy patterns on the picture if needed crank it up a bit and it will deliver you a cleaner image again trial and error you can play again with the wavelets and boost a bit more after applying the number one trick that I just showed. When it's done, just click on do all. The software will apply it all and then save the image. Did you identify the defect on the image? It's time to solve it. Now I like to use the Photoshop Express to fine tune details on the image. It's a very simple software where you just click on the left and move the sliders until you get the results you like according to your taste but let's solve the horrible defect on the image right here on photoshop express i'm talking about these two scratches on the picture product of the stacking and it's very easy to make them disappear just click here on the left then click over the aberration and bam disappear it like magic See, at the end it was not so hard, a beautiful Saturn image.